welcome to this Bassmaster Open Series event. Our anglers are ready for takeoff, so let's join them on the water. Here we go again, Bassmaster Fishing 2022, let's play. Now this lake is another huge lake, absolutely massive area to fish in. The lakes are so big in this game. again I've not done a great deal of research it's still early days for me as I continue my bass master career I've had a few bass from here previously I'm hoping to get an oh there we go boom perfect strike I think that was a bass I've had a few bass from here before I was counting on getting a few bass again here today and we just hit one. It's a lovely spot to fish this is by the way. I want a big house like that. I would love to live there. Right by the side of this lake. I don't know a great deal about bass fishing by the way. I may have mentioned that in a, in a previous video. Um, I'm hoping to pick it up as I go along. Let's see what we've got here. Lovely jubbly, look at that. What we say that is about five pound. That is it right there? Seven pound. Panda. Seven pound six ounces. That's a good start. A few more of them. And we'll be on his way. A couple of photos taken for my steam profile there. My little fishing logbook. Always bring a camera along with me when I go fishing. <laughs> Can we get another one? Oh, there's one on the chase. Perfect strike again. Becoming a bit of a Bass Pro player here, Wobbles. Not gonna set any records with that one, but at least it's a good solid keeper. Seven pounds six ounces again. That must be the other fish's brother or twin brother. It, you know, exactly, exactly the same. This must be where all the seven pounders hang out here. Yeah, what's up with that fish? It looks ill. Did you see it? It was, it was, it wasn't in the water, right? Oh, boom, we're in, we're in. I think there's a sick fish in the water back there. Did you see it? It wasn't sitting in the water quite right. But, um, yeah, that threw me off a little bit, seeing that fish in the water there. Um, yeah, this must be where all the seven pounders hang out. 
might be a little bit of difference in the actual length of that previous fish. I'm not too sure without going back and uh, watching this recording again. Coming in again. Could this be another seven pounder? Cracking start, number one position. Top right hand corner there, nobody has even come close to me yet. As the bass jumps out of the water there. Here we go, what's this? Not gonna set any records with that one, but it's a solid keeper. Cha chunk, cha ching. Seven pound six ounces. This is where all the seven pounders hang out. I think that one was slightly different in length. Boom! Another one. Cracking little spot there for a few bass. Worth giving it a go. I don't know if there's any legendary fish around here. I've not had one from here yet. But uh, if you've not tried this spot, it might be worth, you know, giving it a try in free fishing or even in this competition. That spot there yes. at the moment is is uh, bang on. Look at that. Another one. Is that another seven pounder? That toad right there? Another it's one. Another <laughs> panda. Seven pound six ounce. This is where all the seven pounders hang out. Can we get another one? Oh, we're smashing it here. Absolutely smashing it. I don't know if I've been catching the exact same fish. Oh, boom, we're in. I didn't quite see what that was. I don't know if we've been catching the exact same fish over and over here. Maybe little differences in the length of the fish. I don't know. I've not made notes of it. All I know is, we're winning the competition. And that's all what matters. Somebody caught a toad. Now, we're starting to get a little bit smaller. Four pounder, but... Top right hand corner, nobody is touching us in this match. Nobody. Oh, boom! Straight away. I think it was another bass. They must be lying in these reeds around here, keeping cool. I don't know. I don't know the behaviour of bass at all. This is why the game's a little bit difficult for me, coming from the UK and not knowing this type of fishing at all. But uh, possibly they're sitting in them reeds there, trying to stay out of the sun. Who knows? I don't. I certainly don't know. But we've got another one. If I can land it. There we go. Oh, that looks another seven pounder. Not gonna set any records with that. There we one, go. But at Se least it's a good, solid keeper. I might not be um, getting any records, setting any records with that one, buddy. But look at that top right hand corner. We're smashing it. I'm smashing this. Can we get another one? Here we go. Boom. Perfect strike. So if you're watching this and you've never been to this spot. Worth making note perhaps and giving it a go. Bearing in mind in the left hand side. Top screen left hand side where the map is. And the fish finder. Yes. Take note of the water temperature. That might have something to do with it. That we're hitting these seven pounders and a lot of bass. You're going to have a few Another competitors <laughs> trembling with that toe. Another seven pounder. The same fish wobbles. You're catching the same fish here. I think some of them, there's, slight, there's a slight variation in the length of them. Uh, some of them might have been the same. But we're winning. Oh, 
Oh, there we go as it jumps out of the water. Perfect strike again. While my fellow competitors here, they just aren't as good, are they? You know, we're, we're smashing it. Absolutely smashing it here. That toad right there, that's a little chump panda. It's another seven pounder. That's what it is. And it's winning, it's winning me the competition. Let's have a chuck to the far left hand side here. Let's just have a go here. And the water camera gives you the option also of seeing what's in the water regarding fish in the area. If you've never played this game before, you do have the option of turning that underwater camera off. But it does have its advantages in this game. Are them flatheads? Flathead catfish, are they? We've got some there. Now let's uh, let's go back in this little bay area there, where all them reeds and lilies are. That's where we were having the seven pounders from. Some catfish in there as well. Not having much luck now. Just try different areas. a fish there. No, nothing. It's gone dead. It's died off. It's all gone quiet. Let's try again here. This is where we were smashing them seven pounders. Nothing again. Setups have I got here? So let's just try something a little bit different. Tremor shad, I think this is on a uh, on a. Uh, I think it's a drop shot rig. If we just uh, just drag this along the bottom, see if we can uh, catch anything. Not very good with these rigs to be honest but I have had some uh, big results with this tremor shad and I know big time at Jay who plays this game an awful lot has had some good results using uh, using this uh, this rig as well <laughs> Bulled it out the water. <laughs> I'm absolutely hopeless at the drop shotting. I believe Dubtail, uh, Dubtail Fishing are going to do a video on it, covering it on how to do it correctly. So I'll, I'll be interested to uh, to see that when they actually, um, if and when they actually do release a video on it. Well, that's where. All the action stopped, chaps, and that's where we stopped filming. Or should I say, this is where I now interrupt the video and um, I edit it out because I didn't think it was worthwhile you seeing me not catching any fish. I had very little luck um, for the remaining time that was available and didn't think it was worth putting in the video. So I've chopped it here. Let's go straight to, re to the uh, results this is in two rounds it's a two it was a two round Bassmaster open series um, this was the first round so let's go straight to the results and take a look absolutely smashed it guys absolutely smashed it there round one 36 pounds 
15 ounces. My closest competitor was a guy called John Hudson who came in with 11 pound 5 ounces. Well, we smashed Day it. Day 2 for this event and things are really heating up. Today's all about one thing, getting inside that cut line. Who will it be?